gonna try and keep it short. <laughs> I just wanna send my congratulations to Argentina on winning the 2022 FIFA Soccer World Cup in Qatar. What an emotional game. <laughs> what an emotional, emotional game. Got me thinking of Russell Crowe's Maximus Aurelius. Are you not entertained? Is that not why you're here? Great clip from Gladiator. So I think in about 80 minutes, Argentina was leading 2-0, uh, thanks to a penalty by Lionel Messi and a goal by Di Maria. And I think for all intents and purposes, it was done and dusted. Saw some people on social media saying France did not show up for the game, etc. Some people saying the game was rigged, so Messi can win the World Cup. And then this psychopath of a boy called Kylian Mbappe. <laughs> Came, I think, at 81 minutes and got a penalty, slotted it in. I think within a minute or two, second goal, 2-2. Two -two. Goes to extra time. Messi scores a goal, being his second goal. Kylian Mbappe makes it a hat-trick. Three goals, 3-3 three -three after extra time. Of course, Kylian Mbappe goes and takes the first penalty. Come on, man. Four goals in the World Cup final. Messi goes and takes the first kick, first penalty for Argentina. Three goals in a World Cup final. Uh, France goes to score two out of their thing four. Argentina wins 4-2 uh, in the penalties. Emotional. You know, if Argentina had won 2-0 within the 90 minutes, it would have been a sensational win. Lionel Messi, Argentina win the World Cup. Great story. Amazing. Kylian Mbappe went and caused a sensational twist, which took the game to another level. I'm sure the, the bookies, the, the, the betting houses, sports betting houses went berserk, absolutely berserk. And for Lionel Messi, I mean, I can only imagine how much sweeter this victory is now with Kylian Mbappe coming through as this unicorn. I'm not sure if it's become official yet, but at least for me, Kylian Mbappe is going to be the player of the tournament of this World Cup. 23 years old. 23 years old. I saw a picture of him in his, looked like his bedroom with posters at the back. And the, a beautiful story of a boy that found his poison. That found his water. If you're a fish, he found his water. Blazing on the, on the world stage. Won a World Cup at 19 years old with France. Came and almost defended that World Cup now with France again. Lionel Messi, in my opinion now, officially is the greatest soccer player of all time. People that constantly debate uh, Messi versus Ronaldo. I'd like to think the debate has been settled. I'd like to think the debate has been settled. But Kylian Mbappe came as a unicorn and stole the show. What an emotional, emotional final. Congrats again to Argentina. Congrats to Lionel Messi. Mercurial magician. Pure talent. Shout out to Cristiano Ronaldo and the team of Portugal. Cristiano Ronaldo is definitely going down as one of the greatest Arguably still the greatest soccer player of all time. We saw how emotional he was crying when Portugal got taken out. But what an amazing World Cup, man. Shout out to Qatar. Shout out to everyone that was involved. Shout out to Japan. Shout out to Morocco. The teams that upset some of the big boys. Thank you so much for the entertainment. I put in 500 Rand in the betting houses at the beginning of the World Cup. Got to withdraw 1,900 Rand, which comes up to about a 280% return. I'm happy. I put money on Mbappe to score, made money. I put money on Messi to score, made money. I actually put money on France to win. So I lost that bet, but I'm happy. I've got no complaints. I think there's a very beautiful story for us to all learn here. Specifically, obviously, from a Kylian Mbappe perspective. You know, I think there's a beautiful story to learn about finding your passion, finding your dream, putting your heart and soul and your everything into it. To making it a reality and even from a young age 19 23 i mean if you look at what messi was at those young ages playing for barcelona if you look at what cristiano ronaldo has achieved not just for manchester united but at real and other clubs that he's played for what what beautiful stories what beautiful inspiration for each and every one of us to go for our dreams to try and get our dreams at the greatest world stages and to make sure that we have a life worth living I was looking it up and Kylian Mbappe, I think in next year, his salary goes to 90, about 90.2 million euro. In South African rands, that's 1.7 billion rands in a year. 
about 141 million rand per month. It's a ridiculous amount of money. I think 4.7 million rand a day. A ridiculous, ridiculous amount of money. And it's not even about the money. He has found his poison. He is fully immersed in his poison. It is his passion. It is his love. He gives his heart and soul. Imagine finding your poison. Doesn't matter how much you earn, but you're in the right place at the right time and you're fully plugged into your destiny. Again, thank you to Kylian Mbappe and the French football team. Thank you to Lionel Messi and the Argentinian football team. Thank you to everyone who was involved in the Soccer World Cup. Until we meet again, man. Cheers and congrats again to Argentina. Boom! Boom! <laughs>